Now you need to set up the events. In Squarespace scheduling, they are called um, appointment types. Uh, you can call the meetings as well, it's still fine. So to access the setup of the events that you want, you can create as many events as you want. You simply grab this and scroll down and you go to where it says appointment types. When you click on that, you will see the types there. Now here it shows you the list of our appointment types or the events that you have set up. In this case, I've got a consultation event where I can send a link to a person and they can book and it goes for an hour. But we want to create one event from scratch. Let's create an event where a, only a single person can book with you. So it's called a one-on-one -on -one event. All you have to do is to click new type of service. So the way in which Squarespace uh, scheduling is created is that they, you might want to offer a service to a person. But at the same time, it can just be an event. So here, let's just say it's an onboarding uh, meeting. So on this onboarding meeting, uh, there are several things that we can set up. We can put the description here. We can just write the type of event to say it's onboarding of employees. Onboarding of employees. You can also set up the duration of this meeting. In this case, it's 30 minutes. Let's leave it as it is. We can also put buffer times between the meetings. For example, here, if you click that link, where it says also block off, let's say, five minutes before and five minutes after the appointment. Or you can simply say five minutes before, zero minutes before and five minutes after an appointment, however you want it to work. You can also put the price here. For now, we're just going to leave it as it is. Uh, we'll talk about the price later when we talk about uh, how to set up pricing. You can also choose a picture for that event so that it can be easily identifiable on the landing page. Uh, one of the most important features is access. You might want the public to access this scheduling page from your main page. So you choose public. But if you don't want anyone to see it from your uh, landing page, you choose private. So after doing this, you simply click here where it says create appointment type. So once you set up, uh, as you can see here, it's now available for use. Let's take a look at how it would work. You simply come here where it says directly scheduling link. You click uh, the link that you're going to share on your email uh, or with someone. Uh, once you do that, this is how it would come out. If they click the link, they can now book with you. It says onboarding 30 minutes, onboarding of employees. They can choose to say 8 a.m. and say continue. Put their first name last name and everything and then they complete their booking so this is how it would look like so that's how we set up one-on-one -on -one meetings within this there is also another feature that you can make use of uh, let's edit it here and add what we call categories so let's say we have a category for uh, just one on one uh, meetings so once we save and maybe choose a color and update the appointment type, it will be put in a category. In this case, all the one-on-one -on -one meetings would be under this category one-on-one. -on -one. So we want to find out now how to set up a, a, a meeting type where you meet a group of people. Uh, we can just call it a group class meeting. You simply come here and say group class. So a group class meeting is where maybe you want five people to meet with you at the same time and you want to talk to them at the same time through Zoom or you want to meet them in person. You make use of what we call a group class type of event. So in this case, let's say these are lessons for computer lessons. Say you wanted to run for 30 minutes, you can add a description, you put the duration, um, price if you want let's just create a category usually you create a category once for something so let's call these group events let's choose a color for that one and save for now i'm not choosing a picture it's going to remain public 
So I want this to be a class group event where there is a maximum of only five people who book with me per slot. So I might also force the clients to sign up for all times that are offered. Uh, what does this mean? For us to see what that means, first we need to create the appointment and then these options would come out. So once we create the appointment, we now have these options. So for example, you might offer, say, three classes uh, for computer maintenance. So you might offer one class on the first, uh, let's say on the 26th of December at 10 to 11. You save the class. That's class number one that you're offering. And you also offer a second advanced course maybe on the 26th, uh, say uh, from 10 to 11 as well. So as you can see, there are now two classes without any attendees. So what happens is you can force people to say they have to book all of these, right? So for you to do that, you simply click here, then they'll be forced to book all of these at once. Uh, if you don't want that to happen, you untick here where a person can only book one class that they want. So in this case, let's force them and then we update the appointment type. Let's see how it comes out when a person tries to schedule. So we simply click on that one, go to the link that we're going to share with someone if we want them to book an appointment with us. So as you can see, they are forced to sign up on the 26th and on the 27th, they sign up at once. If we had unticked that option, a person could choose between the lesson on the 26th and the lesson on the 27th. They can just book either one or both of them. So it also shows the number of spots which are left. So if one person signs up, then only uh, four spots will be left. So this is how we set up types of events. So just for maintenance of the page, there are also other things that we can do. We can duplicate, say we want to create many events of a specific type. We can simply duplicate that one and rename it. So in this case, let's say we want to create a, a different class. We simply say duplicate. Once we do that, another event is created where we can just name it differently and maybe say computer hardware, maintenance lessons, and with the same settings, we just say create appointment and the appointment is done. If you want to delete an appointment, you simply click here, it will be deleted. So let's now go back to the main page to see uh, what we have done there. But as you can see, it's not available. Why? Because we had not assigned the times. So uh, once you have created the class, you are now given the powers to assign the times at which these lessons can be done. So you come to offer lessons. Let's just say we're just going to have one lesson on the 29th from 10 to 11. Once we do that, it's now available. So we go back. We'll find that this is under group events. We now have another lesson for 30 minutes. So this is how we create appointment types.